it's dark, so it's not going to show up really that great today. But once you get the light on it, it will though. Now I am putting it on rough because I am going to give it a quick sand later when I put the first and second and third coat on it. But I want to get all inside your cupboard here. The first coat should level out somewhat like the countertop did. And then I'll come back and put a few coats on it. But you can see the difference here. That looks amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. We are going to get some tape. And we're going to tape this across, right across to there for now. That's okay. as far as we're going to do soon. Okay. I mean, for today, sorry. So, there. Do you want me to burn the corner? Where's so that, that way you can... Uh... What corner is that? Uh, yes, please, yes, you can continue that in behind the refrigerator and stove if you don't mind, and I will continue doing this. Sounds good. It looks great. Thank you. Okay, you're up. That is one coat on the floor so far, folks. We will sand that, and then we will go at it again. Uh, guess what? Dog wants in again, but he's going to have to wait a few minutes. That's how it's looking, folks. Tell me what you think. We did want a somewhat dark floor. We didn't want anything too light. You can see how it's looking. Some of it here is starting to dry. I will have to go over this again and give it another coat. Uh, this is the last stuff I did just right now over here. and You can see that. I think there's a little bit of a difference there. Heather really likes it anyway, so that's all that counts. And that will save us buying really expensive flooring. Yeah, give the camera a chance to focus in on it. We will eventually do the whole floor like this. Kitchen, living room, in the pantry in there as well. We have to put plywood down in there. First we put vapor barrier, six mil vapor barrier. That's a uh, plastic of course. And then we uh, will put our plywood down and then we will varnish it like this as well. Or polyurethane, I should say, it's, it's a plastic. Yeah, that's our cheap flooring so far. That's still just the old plywood. Heather's got it burnt. Here's what it looked like before. That's what it looked like right there. So it goes from there to this where she burnt it to this with a clear coat on it. The floor's a little creaky. <laughs> What are you giggling at? <laughs> it's so... <laughs> I'm a big kid. <laughs> yes, you're a big kid. I'm going to let the dog in here. He wants in as well. He knows where his dish is too. He knows it's been moved over there, so he won't go in there. He's pretty smart that way. I don't want to seem too overconfident because then he will go in there. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's looking. I like it. Yeah. We'll let that dry, we'll sand that, and we'll put on about five or six coats of that. And that's, you know, it should stay looking really wet like that when it's done. And if it scratches, well, no big deal. We'll just uh, sand it down in a year or two and do it again. No big deal. It's 8.30, 25 to 9 in fact, folks, in the at night and uh, Heather and I we are just ready to finish this over to the living room we'll leave this overnight we'll do that we'll finish up from where you can see it's been done here over to the living room and as we're happy with that that's pretty much dry now we won't put a second coat on it for another couple days as we have company coming tomorrow but a couple days we'll get at that and we will move the fridge and stove into the pantry and uh, we'll get to this again but we will have this coat on it anyways for sure by tonight we'll have it all done over to the living room and then we're not sure we might paint the living room white it's a bit of a mess in there we've had to move a lot of stuff that we needed so we didn't have to go into the kitchen or the pantry overnight we brought in the water and stuff 
set it. We're going to set that in the bedroom tonight. And we'll pretty much be camping out in the bedroom overnight. <laughs> hey, it's uh, 25 to 10, folks. And that's what we got so far. This is the last of it. I know it's a little dark in spots to see, and I am sorry. The lighting's not 100% in here. But that is how it looks. It's not really as dark as it looks right now. I will see if I can do a little juggling act. I step over here, and I step over here, and then I step over here. And there I am. I don't know how well that shows up, but that is first coat. Over there. Yes, there's a strip down here of the tape. Is I'm not sure how we're going to fix that. I think that will eventually fade after a while. And it is fairly dry where I'm standing here already. That's how it looks. By morning, that would be dry enough. We'll be able to walk on, and we can we can put our stuff back that's in there, stinking up the joint. <laughs> okay, it's not really stinking up the joint, but it is kind of in the way. That's the first coat. In the living room, we're probably going to put some kind of uh, carpet down in there later on. We'll buy a nice carpet, put some underlay in there and do that in the living room. And out here will be just uh, this varnish like this. But uh, anyways, want to show you what it's looking like, that's all. It needs another coat. It needs another three coats out here, actually. I'm going to go another three coat. It takes a gallon of that stuff to just do what we did here. So we're going to go through another three gallons of that, so about four gallons to do all this. That's what it's going to take. I'm going to step through here. I was in here earlier and it's dry enough in here to stand. There we go. How does that look? That was just that plywood, as you folks seen, that we took the torch to and then we uh, varnished it. Now that piece of plywood is just there to... Uh, that's to level up the stove because I couldn't turn the turn the bolts down a little bit on the stove. Uh, they were seized. I should have put a few small pieces on there, but that's okay. That is varnished underneath, so that's fine. It's all varnished in the back here as well. That's all varnished all around in here. So, uh, yeah, another coat. Uh, maybe Sunday we'll sand this down and we'll put another coat on this. And Tuesday we'll sand it down and put another coat on it. And then maybe Thursday we'll sand it down and put another coat on it. That's what it's looking like so far. Because I won't ramble too much. Uh, it's getting late. And uh, it'll take me a while to edit this. This will be a short video probably, I'm sure. Because it's almost over now. I'm not sure exactly how long it is. Because I've been just, uh, between Heather and I, we've been filming off and on all day. But this has taken pretty much all day to get to here. Anyways, you folks take care, and we will talk at you another time. This will probably be the end of the flooring videos in here, unless you want to see more, but I think it's getting kind of boring to you folks. Uh, anyways, this is, this is how it looks. Another three more coats on here, and it should be almost as shiny as the countertop. should be easier for Heather to clean, and it's going to be slippery as heck. But that's fine. I don't mind that as long as it as long as it looks good when it's done that's all I care about all right you folks well I'll let you go on and we'll talk to you another time bye bye